welcome to another edition of Cooking with Lily and Generoso. I am Generoso. I'm Lily. Excellent. It is the holiday season, and I always think of this dish around the holidays. It is the perfect appetizer to put out if you're having a large Christmas party. Everyone digs crocetta de batata. So these are just potato croquets, Italian style. They're wonderful, and again, really beautiful around the holidays just to put out as, as a quick appetizer. It does not take long to make. You will need some ingredients, and we're going to show you what they are. Let's start off. About a half a pound of any boiled sliced ham is fine. Um, I prefer about eight ounces of whole milk mozzarella. You can use skim milk mozzarella, but who are we kidding? Uh, three large eggs, regular plain breadcrumbs, not Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, those are disgusting. Uh, regular white flour, about six yeah, good sized roasted potatoes, some fresh parsley, a bulb of garlic from the wonderful Rafi Estates, thanks to Bob and Cherry, black pepper, salt, oregano, couldn't find any fresh this week, so crushed oregano is fine. Gonna need a knife, a spoon, of course, a potato peeler, and if you come over here, we're going to need a deep fryer, or if you want to get a pan and fill it with a lot of oil, do not skimp when you're frying. A little bit of oil at the bottom of the pan is not going to get this done. So if you don't have a deep fryer, get a pan with a lot of oil. So the only thing about this dish is most of my dishes, as you know, as opposed to Lily's, which are very ornate and take a long time to prep. This one, I normally do quick dishes, but this one's going to take a little while. We're going to actually do the first part, and then we're going to put them aside to cool for a while. So expect at least three or four hours to make this dish, because you're going to need your, your croquets to tighten before we deep fry them. So we're going to do a little bit of prep work, and we'll be right back with the first step of our uh, crocetta de patata. Welcome back. So we've done a little bit of prep here. We'll show you exactly what. We have finely grated our Pecorino Romano cheese. We have, or Lily has to be more specific, we have shredded our beautiful whole milk mozzarella. We come to this side. We have minced our parsley. We have minced our garlic. The eggs we're going to deal with in a bit. And we have shredded our wonderful ham. And all that's going to go inside once we get this potato situation on our hand. So we have a wonderful pot of water here. And what we're going to do is once that starts boiling, we're going to boil these potatoes as though you're going to make mashed potatoes. So once these are nice and soft and ready to mash, we'll go ahead with our next step. Ooh. So what we have done here is our potatoes are now boiled. I am going to add them to the wonderful mozzarella cheese mm. that Lily has been so kind to create. And now before we actually go ahead and mix all of our ingredients together, I'm going to actually just brown this garlic very quickly. can't put the garlic in raw, even though we're actually going to be deep frying La crocetta de patata, they're, they're really, you can't put in the raw garlic because all you'll taste is this ridiculous punch of garlic. So while that's actually browning up, let's go ahead and introduce the other items to the mix. We're going to put in all of our beautiful chopped parsley. Yay! Okay. We're going to hit it with about, I'd say, a good teaspoon and a half of oregano. Just throw in all that wonderful chopped ham. Lily loves her ham. I love ham. You really do love ham, don't you? I love ham. It's my favorite deli meat. It's my one of my favorite roasted meats. Are we having this for Christmas ham? Ham. And then the beautiful shredded Pecorino Romano cheese. Now all that's going to go in there. And egg. Number one. And egg. Number two. All right, so we're going to mix that in a second. I'm going to go ahead, and as you can see, the, the garlic is browning. You don't want to get it super brown. And one other thing I'm going to add, being that we're going to try to do this in a slightly quicker time, is I'm just going to put, I'd say, about a third of a cup of flour in here as well. And we're going to put in a hefty amount of black pepper, I'd say at least two teaspoons. And some of the salad, the salt, about two spoons, two spoons as well. Okay. Now all that stuff is together. Hard garlic is browned as it should very quickly. Let's add that and the oil to our mix. I know, just think, like, there's a lot of ingredients, man. 
through these croquets, but you really want it to have flavor or else all you're gonna taste is cheese and potato, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> but you want more than just cheese and potato. Lily's gonna have to be really quick in the camera because I'm gonna be all over the place. So now we're gonna take it, let's do a very low speed so we don't kill ourselves. Yes, I'm going to make a mess. And let's mix this up. We'll be back in just a minute or so. Once everything's mixed up and show you what our next step is. We have been beating this for about three minutes on a high puree. And as you can see, it looks like mashed potatoes. This is so delicious, you almost want to eat it on its own. But in there you have the pecorino romano, the oregano, the salt, the pepper, the ham, the potatoes, and all this stuff. But what you also have is you have a lot of moisture. And if we tried to roll these into croquets, they would simply just fall apart. So what we're going to do now, it's about, I think about 6 o'clock. We're going to set the timer for about two hours from now. And we're going to go back and roll our croquets at that point. Because if you tried to roll them in this temperature, they would simply just break apart once we hit, they hit the hot oil. So let's put this in a refrigerator, and we'll be back in a couple hours to show you the next step. It's been a few hours, so what we've done is our dough has gotten somewhat firm. Remember, it's still going to be somewhat tacky. And so what we want to try to do is cover your hands in flour and roll them in flour. A dense amount of flour, like really drowse them in flour. Put them in an egg batter, as we have here, and then roll them like you would a meatball in this mixture that I've made, which is basically breadcrumbs and about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper and oregano. So we're going to make about five of these bowls, and we're going to get ready to put them in the deep fryer in just a moment. So our first batch is done. As you can see, the croquets are... Probably about the size of, what would you say that is, Lily? Probably a little smaller than a tennis ball. Sounds good to me. They're perfectly crispy on the outside. We just ate one. In the middle, there'll still be a little bit of the gooier, kind of mashed potato -y side, but that's completely how they're supposed to taste. With a little tiny bit of ham, some oregano, some really nice flavors throughout. So I hope you like your crochette there. Not that. Have a happy, happy holiday. We'll be back next week with Lily's recipe.